dirt, dirt, mm. dirty underdog. <laughs> Is this a simulation? Simulation. Simulation. Oh. I knew I'd see you again. Trust me. Someone said, count your blessings now. One, two, three. Anyone's ever done for me. It's my thing on the piano. You guys, drink water. I have to mom you for a second. Everyone hydrate. There's water in beer, but I don't think it counts. It might. You can try. There's also water as an option, which I forget a lot of the time. Um, this is annoying. Feels really good. This is Jason Chapman, everyone. living and also my musical director we've been playing together for I think close to 24 years which means we were toddlers when we met um, he gets to choose any song of mine I regret closing this fan already he gets to choose any song of mine that I've ever had anything to do with while I'm putting on my fairy princess clothing and if I guess it I get candy I get lots of candy. I can always tell when you grabbed it on the way out of catering, also, just so you know. That doesn't look intentional. I mean, well, I take it back. I'm a horrible person. You did well. The reason I want you guys to care, I need you to care actually, that I get candy is because this is the only place on planet Earth that I get to have candy and then keep the candy because my children can't get to me. Here. Only here. Because I have security. Ah. Oh, Mark, you did your job tonight. Did you clothesline him or is he playing Fortnite? He's playing Fortnite. They will follow me into the shower. Actually, Jameson gave me some ice cream in the shower today. Yeah. He went and got ice cream. Some, somebody gave him ice cream in this building. And he brought it to me. Um, I'm going to give away... Almost. I'm gonna keep a Sour Punch Strong because they're my favorite. And no, I'm not sponsored by Candy. No one will sponsor me. I'm too much of a wild card.
Twizzlers, East Coast, Red Vines, West Coast. Where are we at? Are we Twizzlers? Or are we Red Vines? Twizzlers. I knew you guys were going to keep going. Twizzlers taste like they could almost be a real food. Red Vines, certainly not. Do you like sour things? Like, yes, I am married. <laughs> there you go. Sour Vines, they're my favorite. Close up, careful. Now I'm gonna mom you, you're getting very close to the edge. <laughs> um, um, ooh, I love when I start sentences with um. <gasps> trying to get my kids to stop doing that. So I'm gonna start over. I wanted to say, oh, that's so hard to do. I wanted to say a very, very humble and genuine, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to you guys for bringing me back here. you spent many nights with me. I feel like we're growing up together, if that's what we're doing. I'm not sure how I decided. Nah, screw that noise. Um, I feel like you've allowed me to be in your workouts and your divorces and... <laughs> Some people are nodding their head through that. Yep, been there. <laughs> Carrie and I have tried three times to get divorced, but we hate paperwork. So we're together. Marriage is long. No, but that was a tangent. It's world. Thank you. You could be anywhere in the whole world, but you're with me, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Okay, that's love. Good. I can never tell. Some people have such good screams. You're like, that doesn't sound right. Whoever that was, you have a fantastic scream. So do you. So do I. My dad used to tell me I was never going to need a microphone. I'm glad I have a microphone. Alright, you ready? Please shut me up. This isn't even a sugar house. I try to take my time during that change so Justin can have his, the most epic solo of the evening. He really enjoys that part. solo. Yeah. I mean, you also play well with others. You do. You're a very nice person. Um, thank you all, because I get to know these idiots. I say that with so much love. These are my besties. They're the best in the whole game. They're just the best humans, the most talented people in the whole world. And because of y'all, we get to go around the world and talk trash to each other. And occasionally play music. <laughs> and make bad decisions. Okay, so, shall we? I feel like that song is a window into uh, my, my and Carrie's relationship. Ah, he's a good one. Don't tell him I said that. Willow had to go home because she has to go to school. weird sometimes. School? Did you say school's overrated? She gets? You agree? What grade are you in? Six? I want to tell you it gets better. I want to. I'm sure it's going to be fun sometimes. Right? My daughter gets straight A's and I'm like, what's that like? Do I buy you a pony? What do I do? It never happened to me. I used to get an A in like the sit and reach. That was about, that was like my only A. <laughs> my chorus teacher used to be like, Alicia, it's not a solo. I'd be like, well, it could have been. Just let me know it could have been. Missed opportunity, Mr. Ork. God, I'm glad I was never my teacher. It wouldn't have worked out. Um, this is this is his 99th guitar that he plays in this show. If you see him change guitars in the middle of a song, will you please let me know? Because I'm gonna kick his butt. <laughs> also, if you're that good, you can do whatever you want. That's the truth. I like to say that this song is old. I like that I can say songs are old. This song is old enough to drink. 
That's wild, right? Wild. And I still feel exactly the same way that, as I did when I wrote it. He was in a beautiful veterans cemetery in Pennsylvania, and I went to visit him. Yes, and thank you, anyone here, for your service. Um, he, I am sorry I waited so long because it's really a nice thing to do to sit and chat with your person. And I also realized that right to the left of him is a guy named Fred Krueger, which I also think is, <laughs> if you know my family, that tracks. That my dad would be hanging out with Freddy Krueger somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know, where would those two be? Somewhere cool. <laughs> anyway. I asked him what he wanted to come back as when he was sick. He, he fought cancer for a very long time. He was definitely a fighter. And he said, well, honey, I'm a pilot, so I'd love to be a bird of flight. And I was like, well, that's cool. He's like, you know, or a cannibal chipmunk. I was like, why can't you ever leave anything nice? People think I'm crazy, but they just don't know you. He's like, think about it, baby. You're camping. You're in the Poconos. I'm like, ooh, fancy. And the cutest chipmunk comes out, jumps on your leg, and just starts gnawing on your patella. So, hope that's the morphine talking. Let's go back to the bird thing, Dad. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna be a hawk. And then the day after he died, a hawk flew into my living room and landed on my dining room table. I'm not kidding, and I was not drunk. I know, and I looked at him and he did this, and I was like, oh, you're not an owl, you're a hawk. You'll get it, you'll get it. And then the next, a couple weeks later, he dropped a dead squirrel on my husband's windshield. And I was like, yep, I believe in reincarnation. I got the hawk. Thank you, Dad. And this is when I get there. How's that for a segue? Laura, this is really hard to do. Okay, do me. Um, this next song is one of my favorite songs for letting go. I feel like we all think we have so much distance and difference between us but we're so much more alike than we are different. None of us can get our shoes off with fake nails, for instance. Here you go, here's another one. And have a sock. Thank you. They're not bad. <laughs> And one of the things that all of us have in common, I don't care who you are, is we all walk around with like these wet blankets of just shit on our chest that we need to let go of at the end of every day. And this song is a chance to do that. So if you would like to lose your last marbles with me, so you can just have the microphone stand. He turns so red when I call his name in public. All right, I got, oh, my voice is very loud in my ear. Is my voice this loud to all of you in your ears? If it is, I'm really sorry. I got arrested singing this song. Also, I want to take back what I said. Where is this adorable girl? Listen to me, school's fun, okay? It can be really fun. I'm gonna hold on to this that I said that to her forever, because that's how I am. School can be really fun, right? You have a teacher that you love? Great, teachers are awesome. Good teachers are awesome. Your dad's a teacher? Your dad's awesome. Oh, thank you. I had a couple of great teachers and they made my life so much less hellish. I actually went and visited my junior high school guidance counselor last week. She was she is amazing. She retired after I left. <laughs> I tired her out, but she was amazing. Um, I got arrested around this time. I was 13. What happened? You're a badass. You are. Um, I got arrested disturbing the peace. I was 13. I was singing this song very well, I think. I was doing exactly what the song told me to do, which is scream at the top of my lungs. It was 3 a.m. So what? It was, you want me to do... You're going to give me a merge... Oh, okay, I'll do whatever you want. That's my favorite candy. Thank you. You want me to do what? Can I eat all of this right now? Uh, you want a crowd selfie? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, this is my favorite. 
and you look fabulous. All right, so I figured, long story short, we can all just serve the peace together. Yeah? That's good. Cool. Still one of my favorite songs. <laughs> all right. I would like to introduce all of you beautiful people that I want to tackle and cuddle with for 45 minutes. To all of these beautiful people who I have tackled at times and cuddled with for 45 minutes. They're the best, like I said, the most talented humans. I love them with all of my heart. Our whole crew, underneath the stage, above the stage, behind the stage, over there in that little house. They're all the best of the best. I'm gonna introduce somebody. You go. Mr. Patient, ready for his next solo. 